A quoll four feet, seven isoflavindiol is an isoflavindiol estrogen metabolized from daidzein, a type of isoflavone found in soybeans and other plant sources, by bacterial flora in the intestines. While endogenous estrogenic hormones such as estradiol are steroids, a quoll is a nonsteroidal estrogen. However, only about 30-50% of people have intestinal bacteria that make a quoll. A quoll can exist in two enantiomeric forms, S a quoll and R a quoll, S a quoll preferentially binds estrogen receptor beta. Topic. History S. A quoll was first isolated from horse urine in 1932, and the name was suggested by this equine connection. Since then, a quoll has been found in the urine or plasma of many other animal species, although these animals have significant differences in their effectiveness in metabolizing the soy isoflavone daidzein into a quoll. In 1980, scientists reporting the discovery of a quoll in humans. The ability of S a quoll to play a role in the treatment of estrogen or androgen-mediated diseases or disorders was first proposed in 1984. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chemical structure. A quoll is a compound that can exist in two mirror image forms known as the enantiomers, S a quoll and R a quoll. However, only S a quoll is produced in humans and animals with the ability to produce a quoll after soy isoflavone consumption. S a quoll is not of plant origin. It is a metabolite of the soy isoflavone daidzein. S a quoll thus is characterized as an isoflavone. In contrast, R a quoll is not made in humans, but can be chemically synthesized, such as in the laboratory. The molecular and physical structure of S a quoll is similar to that of the hormone estradiol. Production in humans Not all humans can produce S a quoll after soy consumption. The ability to do so depends on having certain strains of bacteria living within the intestine. 21 different strains of intestinal bacteria cultured from humans have the ability to transform daidzein into S a quoll or a related intermediate compound. Several studies indicate that only 25 to 30 percent of the adult population of Western countries produces s a quoll after eating soy foods containing isoflavones, significantly lower than the reported 50 to 60 percent frequency of a quoll producers in adults from Japan, Korea, or China. Vegetarians are more capable of transforming daidzein in this substance too. In research studies, the ability of a person to produce S a quoll is determined with a standardized test in which the person, who has not had antibiotics for at least a month prior to testing, drinks two 240 milliliter glasses of soy milk or eats a soy food equivalent for three days followed by measurement of S a quoll concentrations in their urine on the test's fourth day. Seaweed and dairy consumption enhances the production of a quoll. Topic. Medical use Under the code name AUS 131, S, a quoll is under development for the treatment of menopausal symptoms such as hot flashes and benign prostatic hyperplasia. 1. Topic. S, a quoll producing bacteria While many more bacteria are involved in the related intermediate process of S a quoll production, such as conversion of daidzein to daidzein, or genistein to 5 hydroxy quoll, the bacteria that can produce a complete conversion of daidzein to S a quoll are the following Adlerkreuzia aquolifaciens, Isaccharobacter salatus AHU1763, Bacteroides ovatus, Bifidobacterium, Bifidobacterium animalis. Choreobacteriaceae SPMT1B9 Egerthella SPYY7918 Enterococcus facium Eubacterium SPD1 and D2 Feingoldia magna Lactobacillus mucosae Lactobacillus sp neu 16 Lactococcus garvii LC20-92 Ruminococcus productus Slachia sphe8, Slachia aquolifaciens, strain DZE, Streptococcus intermedius, 
Valonellus favafer, the bifidobacterium conversion has only been claimed once by Sangalis et al., 2002, and not reproduced since. Two mixed cultures such as Lactobacillus sp. Niu O16 and Egerthella sp. Julong 732 can also produce S a quoll, 3 some aquol producing bacteria, as implied by their nomenclature, or Adlerkreuzia aquolifaciens, Slachia aquolifaciens, and Slachia isoflavoniconvertens. Pharmacology Estrogen receptor binding S. Aquol is a nonsteroidal, selective agonist of ER-beta, Ki. Topic 16 nm, with 13-fold selectivity for ER-beta over ER-alpha. Relative to S. Aquol, R. Aquol is less potent and, in contrast, binds to ER-alpha, Ki. 50 nm with 3.5 fold selectivity over er beta s a quoll has about 2% of the affinity for the human estrogen receptor alpha or alpha estrogen compared to estradiol s a quoll has a stronger affinity for the human estrogen receptor beta or beta yet this affinity is still just 20% that of estradiol the preferential binding of s a quoll to er beta compared to er alpha and to that of estradiol indicates the molecule may share some of the characteristics of a selective estrogen receptor modulator serm topic pharmacokinetics S a quoll is a very stable molecule that essentially remains unchanged when digested, and this lack of further metabolism explains its very quick absorption and high bioavailability. When S a quoll is consumed, it is rapidly absorbed and achieves a Tmax rate of peak plasma concentration in 2 to 3 hours. In comparison, the Tmax of the Dadesian is 4 to 10 hours because it occurs in a glycoside with a glucose sugar side chain form and the body must, in order to use Dadesian, convert Dadesian to its aglycone form without the glucose side chain, achieved through removal of the sugar during digestion. If consumed directly in aglycone form, Dadesian has a Tmax of 1 to 3 hours. Also, the percent fractional elimination of S a quoll in urine after oral administration is extremely high and, in some adults, can be close to 100%, which is far higher than the percent fractional eliminations of either Dadesian 30 or Genistein 7 A quoll has been found to act as an agonist of the GPER GPR30. See also Dadesian Estrogen receptor Genistein Liquoridogenin Minerba Prinabral Way 200070 Diaryl propionitrile